Yeah, I'm not in the game yet. I figure I'll just delete this out later. Maybe I'll leave it in. I don't know. Four years later. <coughs> Do I dare step through that goddamn door? Mary Jane Shepard, how have you been spending the last four years? Do you remember? Has there been some green, perhaps leafy material, keeping you very solitary? Yes. More than likely. I think it's fine. To see you're okay, Commander. Don't even think I forgot about you. It has been four years, Caden. It has been four years, and I still remember exactly how you acted in that last mission. Speaking of, it has been, in fact, four years, and there's a few updates. One, this isn't exactly the same file from before. Uh, the cloud didn't exactly store the information, so I went ahead and I just ran through the opening uh, missions again. Though... I have since gotten somewhat wiser, and perhaps even a touch smarter. And I discovered console commands. So we'll actually be playing on Insanity instead of... What would I have on? I think I had Veteran last time. So... That'll be fun. For somebody out there. Probably not for Kate. Or, yeah, maybe he'll prove me wrong and actually shine in the way that I remember him from years upon years, decades back at this point. Oh my god, I'm an old man. When the fuck did that happen? Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew and I'm glad we didn't lose you too. Somehow, Caden, I don't think you're faced by it. Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. It doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. I don't want to lie to the poor man, so... I need to go see Joker. Sure thing, Commander. And if we look to the left, to the right here, we will find... Gear I probably should have took with me on that stupid mission. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? You got anything of note, Doc? Oh, for anyone watching, this is probably just going to be a conversation episode. Uh, what do you know about Caden? Isn't he psychotic? How well do you know the Lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity. Insanity. That's it. Bag him and tag him. Really, Caden? Uh, what about yourself? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. And there you have it. Dr. Chalk was joined the Military Alliance because she wanted to get banged like a drum. Any regrets? Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. Yeah, sure, Doc. Let me guess. 
You get older, but the soldiers stay the same age. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Ah, hello, Pink. Again, it's been four years, but don't fucking think for a second I forgot what you did on that bridge. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Will he, though? Will he? Ah, eh, sure, why not? He didn't seem too bad. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. I think part that's of me a feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Hmm. Well, I guess trauma. She did have trauma. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. Did she though? Did she? The bridge, Pink. The bridge. Oh, you crazy bitch. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I mean, she has a gun. She carries but or she has body armor. She carries a gun. She likes to punch things. I mean, sign her up. She's a part of the crew, for sure. Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. Uh huh. Joker's to the right of me, Captain's to the left. Here I am, stuck in the middle of the chair. Uh, I'm just gonna. Nah, sure, what the hell. I think there's a small conversation we can down here, have down here with, uh. What is it, the quartermaster? I'm not sure if you can buy licenses unless you talk to the guy first. I just assumed you couldn't. But whatever, we're down here now. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. I mean, couldn't I just blow you out the airlock? Not that you have anything I want. I don't see any nukes back there. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Hmm. What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of products. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. Let's see what sure, you sure, got. Sure, 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 what you got. You bet, Commander. Heavy armor. <laughs> Way the hell out of my price range. Oh, I mean, I could just get that. More Medigera is always nice. More grenades are always nice. And let me see. Value fucking 10? I don't know, I almost kind of want to just turn it into gel. Uh, whatever, I'll figure that shit out off the graph screen. I'm a chatterbox as it is. Why waste your time uh, as I peer over, pour over the items? Shame about Jenkins, Commander. 
You know, uh, I heard Caden say we should just bag him and tag him. Pass it along. Four years, Caden. It's been four years and I still remember that. You heartless prick. Yeah, I don't know what made me want to suddenly pick up Mass Effect again. It's just been bugging me that it's one of those things that I never finished. It really is one of my favorite games, so, you know, what just, why the hell not? Plus the whole Doom thing has been kind of dragging me down lately. The whole headset thing, it's just, the headset is... Meta, fix your shit. That's what I'm trying to say, meta, fix your shit. Running around the goddamn ship, picking up my XP's. I'm glad you're Presley. okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. You know what? Maybe Jenkins was actually very, very well liked around here. Won't they be devastated when they find out what the hell Jenkins had to say about it? I could have sworn I could have clicked on these, uh... At least one of these consoles for some more XP's. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Also, is my screen a little bit too red to you guys? I just noticed that the nightlight turned itself off. I never turned it off. And the nightlight would be the thing that tilts the screen red, so it cuts down all the blue. Supposedly, it's supposed to keep the uh, screen from interfering with your Look at the size sleep rhythm. The, the Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster! Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy now. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock. Climactic. It just cut. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. Three people? In case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. Huzzah. And that's why I hate politicians. 
to be fair, not all politicians are like that. But again, to be fair, for those that are like that, it's really easy in common to hate them for it. Anyways, Caden, can you do some hacking? Sure, send in the recon team. What else are you gonna do about it? Now let me see. Do I bother doing social stuff? I mean, there's gotta be something that I could do around here. I don't have the quest for those guys yet. <gasps> I love these huge dudes. They're like... Very... They, they talk like Ben Stein, and they kind of look like lizard gorillas. You know what I mean? Man, I forgot how huge this game is. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Good day, Commander. The human ambassadors up the stairs, first room on the right. Have we met? You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. What an enlightening conversation. <laughs> yeah, you just pull out your fucking guns on the Citadel. Because, you know, fucking right. On that note, when it comes to Saren's gun shooting the Nihilus in the back of the head, don't you think they I could run a trace I a job here. This on, like, the fantastic. bullet or something? Getting some more XP's doesn't have to be on the ship. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. I know, right? Thank you. That's the other thing about those super big guys. They're always so polite. Never once are they a villain, I don't think. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Uh, well, as a matter of fact, no. I came on my own. I need information. You humans are always so curious, always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? Uh, never mind, forget I asked. Was there something I mean, you needed, Commander? Depends on the person and the pie, but fingers are usually used. <laughs> uh, and how are these guys going to do a goddamn thing on investigating Saren? They're like local PD on the, sp on the station. Aside from the fact that Spectres are basically like CIA, they go outside of the station. So Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Hmm. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres. He'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. I mean, he's probably right. Let me see what else he got. Uh, screw it. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. And on that note, it's 15 seconds to the 20 minute mark. So, we will be going. As soon as I'm done hacking this computer, you get to see the wonders of hacking.
Huzzah. Crazy biotics. I wonder what they would be like. Caden. Till next time.